Peter Desev is a wonderful artist. You look at a drawing of Peter's and you immediately get a sense of who that character is and you know what their personality is like and it just screams out at you. And Peter's contribution to this movie is just enormous. Hello everybody, my name is Peter Desev. Uh, I'm the character designer on Ice Age and Ice Age 2 The Meltdown. And uh, I think I've, I've got the best job uh, in the whole movie, really. With any character I draw, I'm always trying to think of the basic shapes that make up what he looks like. In this instance, uh, we've got Sid, who if you look at him, he's really made up of very basic shapes. In fact, when I look at him, I think, of bowling pins, ping pong balls, a football, and triangles. And I know you're thinking, what are you talking about? Let me show you, it's very simple. Somebody here likes Sid. Okay guys, just a basic word about your tools. Nothing fancy about it. You have a crayon and a piece of paper. And I said, football, right? You're thinking it doesn't look like Sid at all, but just, just wait. Now ping pong balls for his eyes. Just perfectly round. And if you look at Sid, you'll notice that one eye is bigger than the other. That helps him look a little crazy, which is what his character is. And I'm always trying to keep in mind, what's the personality of the character like? So here's Sid. His two eyes, so let's make this a little bigger. That makes him just look a little bit crazy. Now here is a kind of triangle for his nose. He's mostly smiling. He's almost always smiling, Sid. So we give him a basic smile. He has those two ridiculous front teeth, and they are shaped, again, kind of like a triangle. Now, a bowling pin. Where's a bowling pin on Sid? Well, if you look, it's hidden. It's his neck and that big round belly of his. And you can see the bowling pin hidden in there. And that's not the only bowling pin. His arms are basically the same shape. and his legs as well. Then more triangles. His fingers and his toes are long triangles. And then there's a tail, and I'm not sure what shape to call that tail, but it's like a very long football. And that's it. Then once I get the basic shapes in there, I start to uh, make him look a little bit more realistic. So I put some shadows in here, and he has a very dark nose, like a dog's nose. And he has these floating eyebrows. They just float up there. Sometimes I put a shadow, make him look like he's standing on the ground. So that's a very basic lesson on how to draw Sid. And uh, you're not going to get it perfect every time. I, I don't get it perfect every time I do it. The main thing is you just keep practicing and have fun. John Leguizamo did a beautiful work personifying this character, creating this like voice that's unique to Sid, uh, that brings this like every time you hear Sid talk, like you almost you, you can't stop laughing because it's already funny right there. All right, now you're done with the rest of the how to make Sid, the drawing, all that. We come to the best section. How do we bring Sid to life? Waka, 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 waka. When I came up with the voice of Sid, that's when it really came to life for me, and I had a lot of fun coming up with this thing called the lateral lisp. I, I just heard you going extinct. Mm. Lateral means spread. Because it's the frontal lisp, and that's, you know, that's the one that some people talk like this, and they call it like baby talk and stuff like that. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-
That's good. You got to do that well. The way to do this voice, I mean, you might be able to just do it by just pressing your tongue up, and it just presses stuff, and it sounds come out like uh, one of my lines is, uh, that sure puts the stink in extinction. Ready, you try. Ooh, well, don't then put the stink in extinction. Now ah, you couldn't do it, huh? Well, there, there are other ways you could do it. There's other ways. You just got to take some food, like, uh, let's try a lemon, because a lemon is sour, and it's going to make you kind of, uh, go get that your parents to cut up a, a lemon, and you put it in your mouth. Get it in your mouth. It's going to make it wince a little, and you have to try for the pit. Well, when you start sucking on that, you, you get pretty juicy, and now you can try the line with a little lemon. It's going to make your face a little messed up, but the voice should be nice and juicy now. Now you can try that short push the stinking extinction. You can try chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Gotta work, right? I'm telling you, you put a little chocolate in your mouth. Oh yeah, it's getting very juicy and chocolatey. What, what seems to be the problem? What? Do I have some of my tooth? Ew. You know what actually really works? It's crackers. Crackers is the bomb. You put a lot of those in your mouth. I don't like a mint. I could find I could find it to get you some crackers. Right? This is gonna give you this is gonna be phenomenal. That still puts the stink in extinction. No, 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 no. Now you gotta practice it. Practice it as long as you want. Do it wherever you want. You can say things like, um, I wanna stay home from school. Try that. Let's go shopping. I need more toys. I need more games. That's why they're called kids. You got it. Keep practicing. I'll keep eating, and you keep practicing. Well, you know, it's about time someone recognized my true potential. <laughs>